welcome to the lecture on understanding doubles data type doubles can also be called as float decimal numbers right go to example to doubles open up the logical flow so we'll understand how to define and work with double or float and the file name that we will use is double data type so let's quickly create this file we'll be using the console to print and the folder name is data types under ww so let's create the file control n control s and i'm gonna create this file okay so let's start understanding what are decimals and what is float and what are doubles so decimals are basically real numbers they have the decimal values decimals have decimal points just to show the decimal values as well and if you want to round a decimal value you can use a method called round okay so we're going to start defining a decimal variable let's define and print decimal values so i'll say total score 78.87 now let's print this out okay so how does it know this is a decimal variable the trick is coming up from this dot symbol so whenever you have a decimal points or a dot symbol in the integers then it is denoted or stored as a decimal variable or basically a double variable or a float variable so this variable total score is called as double variable or you can even called as float variable when you remove this value it is called as integer variable because it's a whole number and this is a real number okay so that's how you identify between integers and a float variable let's look at the negative decimals okay so for that if you have a temperature of minus 40.23 and then you want to print it well that's possible with negative having the decimal variables so you can have positive or negative double or a float variable and you want to use a round method to round the double variable you can do it with the price let's say price is 4.99 and then you want to round it then you can use the round method this is a basically a method built-in method you can pass in any double or a float variable then it rounds that value right yep. so 4.99 which is basically rounded to 5 which is an integer right so it's round to an integer number without any decimals and if you want to compare to double with precision okay precision means you want to compare some negligible amount of after the dot so let's say 0 0.1 is equal to you want to have a precision of 0 0.1 which is from 1.87 to 1.97 so that precision is okay for you which is nothing but 0 0.1 precision so if a two double variable is not exactly equal but they are nearest with the precision of 0 0.1 how do you compare it okay so let me give you an example so if you have a price of 1.87 and let's say you are bidding for that stock or something for 1.97 the seller is basically okay to have a precision of 0 0.1 means if it is 0 0.187 and you're bidding for 1.97 then he's okay to adjust that precision so you can say echo you have to use a method called absolute minus bid which is less than or equal to 0 0.1 so basically you are saying that you're trying to find the precision what is the difference between these two 
and then if the difference is less than 0.01 then you actually accepting the offer something like that or you basically reject it okay so let's try out this so it's accepting now but if it is let's see your bid price is 199 okay it's rejected so that's basically a precision so you use this method a absolute so this method apps will convert will find the absolute value and if that absolute value is less than your precision value accepting value then you basically accept or you basically reject it okay so it's a very helpful scenario wherein you want to find the difference between two double variable but with the precision okay so that's how you basically work around with decimals the trick is if you use a dot symbol a decimal value then it becomes a double variable but if you use without a dot the whole number then that becomes an integer okay so we have seen examples like we have defined and print variables we have seen negative decimals we have round a double value then we have compared to double variable with precision well that's all about double variables and i'll see you in the next one